In a violent incident outside the Pentagon, one officer was murdered and a suspect was slain. The Pentagon announced Tuesday that a Pentagon police officer was killed after being stabbed during a scuffle outside the headquarters on Tuesday, and that a suspect was shot by law enforcement and died at the scene. Officials who were not allowed to discuss the subject and talk to the Associated Press on the condition of anonymity initially verified the officers' and suspects' deaths. Multiple law enforcement agencies identified the suspect as Austin William Lands, 27, of Georgia. At a Pentagon press briefing, CUSA refused to acknowledge the officer's death or even offer basic facts about how the violence broke out or how many people were murdered. Officials such as CUSA and others have refused to rule out terrorism or give any other possible explanation. The Pentagon Force Protection Agency confirmed the officer's death later Tuesday, and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin offered his sympathies and said the Pentagon's flags will be flown at half-staff. This fallen officer died in the line of duty assisting in the protection of the tens of thousands of individuals that work and visit the Pentagon on a regular basis," Austin said in a statement. The altercation on Tuesday took place on a Metro bus platform at the Pentagon Transit Center, which serves as a junction for subway and bus lines. The station is located in Arlington County, Virginia, just over the Potomac River from Washington, and is just feet from from the Pentagon complex. Multiple gunshots were heard near the building by an Associated Press reporter, followed by a pause and at least one more shot. The facility was placed on lockdown, according to a Pentagon release, but it was lifted after midday, with the exception of the area surrounding the crime scene. Austin returned to the Pentagon, according to Pentagon spokesperson John Kirby, and proceeded to the Pentagon Police Operations Center to talk with officers. Two Pentagon Force Protection Agency personnel were injured in 2010 when a shooter approached them at a security screening area, 